Um, hey, yeah, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bullets of Tower, and um, this is my uh, fifth vlog. I haven't made a vlog in like seven days, so like I need to update you guys on what has been going on. If you've noticed recently, like YouTube has been like turning off my comments like a bunch. Um, I think that that's because they're flagging my content as like that 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 I'm a child. But I would like to say that I'm not a child, YouTube. I'm forty seven years old. I am being serious right now. Um, I know that maybe I've said previously that I'm 13. I'm not 13. I'm 47. Anyways, it was my third day of high school today. Um, it was really fun. I had Japanese and business studies and, and math and science, except we didn't do science. Instead, we had to fill out, fill out an about me sheet. Um, that, that was fun. I, half it, I just wrote stuff about flies. Um, but anyways, um... With business studies, a lot of people have been telling me why, like, have, have like, a lot of people have been asking me why I started doing, like, business studies, because, like, I'm 13, what am I going to use business studies for? And, like, they think that's boring and stuff. And, no, it's not that boring. The teacher's really nice. His name's Mr. Willis. Um, he's cool. Uh, anyways, but business studies, I think that business studies is great because, like, you see, um, I get to learn cool marketing skills, um, developing, developing products and, like, sharing them and marketing them, like, in a really good way and, like, stuff like that and some other kind of stuff. I don't really know. Um, also I'm wearing my silly cat shirt right now. I love this shirt. It's so cool. My brother bought it for me from Timu. Um, it was only, like, eight or nine dollars. Thank you, brother. Um, anyways, who was I? I had business studies. Um, so, like, business studies it's also really cool because i heard that in year 11 like what's it called you get to like um design a product market it and then you can make money off of it at like the school market or something um which i'm really excited for even though that's in like two years but anyways um so yeah i i want to make more money so that i can buy more monster energy um speaking about monster energy i i just had a can of ultra fiesta and that was really 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 yummy um it's mango flavored which is really nice and it's low it's low calorie and low sugar it only has 14 um calories in it and that's nice and it has no sugar um so yeah i drank that while listening to some music after it had finished because um like you see uh if you don't already know monster energy cans like empty ones are great microphones so i decided to do some karaoke in my room by myself because i thought that my dad was at the gym and my mother was making dinner we had burgers by the way um anyways so yeah i thought it was a great idea to do some karaoke so um I, I did some karaoke to uh, Billy Idol's Rebel Yell, because that's like a really, 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 really good song. Um, and so I was doing really loud karaoke to that, right? Um, uh, and then my mom came in, and she was just like, Tower, stop singing, it's dinner time. And so I just like, I, I was a bit embarrassed, but then I was just like, oh, yay, dinner. Um, so I went down to have dinner. But as I was going down to have dinner, I noticed that my dad's bedroom, like, it's like right next to mine, right? Like, right over there. You can't see it, but, like, it's over there. Um, anyways, uh, his door was open and his windows were shut, but, um, turns out he was trying to sleep. So I feel as though I might have, um, kept him awake with my amazing singing of Rebel Yell. However, I feel as though that was a probably, like, a really bad song for, um, uh, karaoke singing because I was unaware of my situation. Um, and, uh, th th that's not a very appropriate song that I should be singing about, singing, um, Oops, nice. Anyways, um, today my friend Azaria and I, we were walking around at lunch and, um, we were yelling about the sun and which direction it was going around because I was really confused about that. So we were both yelling about it while walking around the school and, um, doing crazy hand actions while yelling about the sun and planets and rotation and turns out a bunch of kids were staring and pointing at us and, um, yeah, so that was kind of funny, silly, whatever. Um, and some kids, they, they are like, these two girls, they pointed at us, and, the, and they were just like, oh my god, I fell in love with an emo girl, and all that stereotypical stuff that people say to emos. Um, I turned back at them, and I yelled, um, wow, I've never heard that one before. Whether I was actually being sarcastic, because I have heard that line a million times. Not that I've actually listened to the song, it's just that a lot of people have said that phrase to me. Um, personally, I think that people should up their insults to emos. Well, actually, they shouldn't be insulting us at all. But anyways, it's still kind of funny. Um, but anyways, um, the good thing about being emo is that if you have bangs that cover your eyes like me, then you only actually need to do one side of your, like, makeup. Especially if it's, like, eyeliner or something. You only need to do one eye. The other eye, um, 
Should I show this? But the other eye, my other eye, it doesn't have makeup on it, clearly, because it's usually covered with bangs. So that's really fun. I don't really have anything else to say, so um, um, uh, see you guys in the next vlog in probably like a few days. Um, bye. Pew.